What's up, Wax Squad? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, you guys, we have Chipotle. It is the middle of the week. We hope everybody's having an amazing Wednesday. Yeah, man. You guys, today we got Chipotle. We're getting all into what we got. But first, Clifton, go say the intro. Welcome with Danisha and Cliff. We are comfortable. We eat food every day. Different food, different ways. If you do, the subscribe. Make a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride. Why? Because it's a waxer squad. A waxer squad. A waxer, waxer, waxer squad. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this meal, Lord. We ask that you take out all impurities in Jesus' name and bless everyone. Add a blessing to everyone's family, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen guys. Thank you, okay. guys, for watching our video another time. And we're back again with another excited video. Yeah. I got my Birod, but what is this? What you just call it? <laughs> what is this, man? What you just said? What you but, call it? But, 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 what's his name? I can't remember the name. You can't be that hungry. You that hungry? What you can't name? be that hungry. Yeah, I do. I ain't even gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Let you figure out what it is, cause you know dead well. You know what that is. Eh. I'm gonna let you figure that out on your own. What is it, babe? Tell him. You so excited. Right now, I got some Chipotle. Chipotle. Guys. But what are you eating? What What is that? It's rice and chicken in it. It's and a burrito, babe. It's called burrito. Oh. So he has a burrito, and then I got us both a bowl. I'm not eating the burrito because I don't want the tortilla. Um. However, I do have a, I could mm -hmm. do like a wrap or something like that. But I'm not. Instead of that, I'm gonna do these. These are I'll let these are the tortilla chips. I'm gonna let him have. I'm gonna do these because these are baked. And I'm just gonna put some of them over here. And I'm gonna eat these with my um um we got mm -hmm. some pico sauce right here, which is really good. This is good, babe. I got a little mm -hmm. bit of queso back here. I got a little bit of sour cream, and we have a huge thing of uh guac, which I'll put here because he likes guac too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do this, dip it here. We have not eaten nothing yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing amazing. Mm. Oh, and what I have on there, I have their new, we have their new um quinoa um bowls. And so what we have in over here is we have some quinoa, chicken. Um, out, out, uh, lettuce. Uh, I have some peppers on mine. I have some mozzarella cheese, and I have some pico in here, and um, I believe some avocado as well. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Can't forget about that chicken. Mm mm mm. Thank you, Lord, for this food. I am blessed. Oh, I got black beans. We got black beans, too. I think you'll like the bowl. You're going to yeah. like the bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. It's packed with flavor. The bowl is packed with flavor. Mm-mm. -hmm. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Yep. Yeah. Mm. We hope, I hope and pray that you guys are getting things accomplished. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That you're successful in all that you do. Mm-mm. Mmm. There was a song I wanted to sing on my intro, but I'm gonna sing it right now. Just a little bit of it. I told my um my stepdaughter when I was talking to her on the phone earlier today <laughs> that I wanted to open up my intro to the song with this with that song. But I had forgot as soon as the camera came on because I'm so hungry. I also have some kombucha to drink. Not drinking all of this, but Got some of this. I love kombucha, you guys. I drink it every day. It's very good, and it's very good for you. Cliff, what, what do you have? Oh, he's super hungry. He's so hungry, he's out of frame. 
Mm -hmm. Should I move this over here to do a little bit more? Mm -hmm. There. Because you're out of frame. So hungry, you're out of frame. Mm -hmm. So anyways, while he's eating, <clears throat> the song was... What's that song? I don't know. In his time. Listen to this song, guys. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> In his time. God makes all things beautiful. In his time. That you'll do just what you say in your time. And then the second part of that says, Lord, my life to you I bring. May each song I be to you a lovely thing in your time. Amen. Amen. I love that song. I grew up in church on that song. I know it's a really old song. I don't know who sang originally sang it, but I grew up on that song. I used to go to a church where there was a lot of wisdom and a lot of older people. I went to a church where there was a lot of, where most of the church, a large population of the church was elderly people. And I just learned so much. And so, when you guys say that I have an old, school, an old soul, or I look older than 31, I accept that because... I know that a lot of my wisdom, a lot of my knowledge, a lot of my understanding... A lot of everything that I am is embedded in how and where I grew up. And even though I had some, some valleys, you know, some really deep, deep valleys in my life growing up, I had some high, high mountains enriched with wisdom. And I'm so thankful for it because it has really solidified who I am as a person right now. And why I didn't give up when things got hard. And why, and it's like I knew how to fight when I was in the valleys of my life. I, I, I learned how to fight. And I learned how to fight by going to that church, enriched with a lot of wisdom. You know? Because I'm 31, but I, I grew up around older people. And, you know, as we know, there's still a lot of segregation, but they had it harder when they were growing up than we have it right now. We're, we're so much more blessed than they were. And so they knew how to fight, you know, they knew how to not allow themselves to be destroyed by the enemy's tactics and his schemes. You see, when the enemy had fiery darts pointed in their direction, they knew where their help came from. So they knew how to pray. And I encourage you, I encourage the young population this day. I encourage everyone that's watching me. That may have forgotten or may, maybe you didn't know that the enemy will often talk to you. He will often try to discourage you because in the Bible, it tells us that he comes to kill, steal and destroy. So just know that he's going to have it out for you. It's not. It, it's not how you're attacked that matters. It's not the attack. On your life itself that matters. It's how you maneuver through it. It's how you cope through it. It's how you handle it. It's how you choose to see it. It's how you perceive it. That is going to make the ultimate difference in you being an overcomer and a survivor and having peace and joy and going and still being able to pursue your purpose and go to the next destiny 
<clears throat> excuse me, the next level in your life and fulfill your destiny. So the Lord laid that on my heart and I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys today. Amen. So I just want to tell everyone out there, just know that everything is in God's timing. Everything you want to see in your life to enrich your life is in God's timing. Yeah, man. Guys, I make some smoothie shake. Yeah, put almond, mm. strawberry, blueberry, banana, and apple. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Mm. And I put some. Um, you put the PB2 in there? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. I got some new stuff called PB2, and it's basically powdered um, peanut butter, but it's the healthy kind. It has like less than four grams of fat. It has no sugar, and it's really good for you. And all you have to do is add two tablespoons to a bowl and put a little water in it, and it just like gets creamy, like regular peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I got the chocolate kind. I want to try other brands, though. I got the chocolate kind, and I take that and put it on like, um. you can put it on toast or like him, you can put it in a smoothie or you can put it on a rice cake. You know, rice cakes are very good for you as well. And they only have 50 calories in them. Yeah. So how I use mine is I take a little bit, I smother it, uh, slather it on a rice cake when I'm like craving something sweet. I like the caramel rice cakes and the chocolate rice cakes. So I slather a little bit on it. And slice up a half a banana and put the banana on top. And I eat it like that as breakfast or you can eat it as a snack. Very good. Very good for you. And it gives you crazy energy. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it the most. I think it's something with the protein in it. Crazy energy. Speaking of that, speaking of healthy stuff. Me and Clifton were sent some protein bars. Now, I'm not going to say who they were sent by because we're planning on having a complete video um um talking about it in a video and like eating it on a video so you guys can see what they are we're gonna try them for the first time in front of you and let you know which ones we like and so until i'm able to reach out to the company and see if they want to do some kind of a sponsorship or something like that where i can get you guys a discount code and get you guys yeah. maybe 10 or 15 percent off or something like that I'm not going to share them until I can get that. That way you guys can be blessed too, you know? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Please don't eat all that from me. I do. Thank you. I love avocado just like you, but I think you love it a little bit more than me. You know what I mean? I have it from her. I know, but it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. You want some sour it's cream? This, it's this it's good, guys. Like it? I did good yeah. then, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I knew you would like it. What happened? It? It's what quinoa. Happened? It's not rice. It's quinoa. Mm. It's so good. I'm just going to put some in here. But I think this quinoa, has like, a lot of salt in it, though. This might have a lot of salt. It's either salt or lime. Something. Quinoa with lettuce, tomato, chicken. You feel healthy right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want some of this cheese sauce? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to take this down now. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good down. Look. See? Don't forget that burrito is yours. I don't good. want it. I, I could get like a wrap. I have like these really high fiber tortilla wraps, but I'm going to eat again later. So I'm cool with this. Mm. I'm happy because I missed this, y'all. Mm -hmm. I've been working on some things. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I've been working on some things, and um, let's just say your girl is feeling good. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. New year, new life. Yeah. I say new year, new promotion. I'm ready to new go year, on to a new level. New life. New page. Yeah. New praise. New glory. Mm -hmm. hmm. New sacrifices. New blessings. Even new trials and new tribulations. <laughs> but in those times, new peace. Mm -hmm. An abundance of peace. An abundance of joy. Mm hmm I am just about full, actually, you guys. Wow. Didn't think I would say that so soon. Yeah. The avocado did it to me. Mm -hmm. The avocado. Mm -hmm. I'm just not used to having this much energy. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> I'm not used to feeling this good. New life. It's what? <coughs> I want to try one of these. New joy. You know? You can't be the same every day for life. Change up to happen mm. in their life. Yeah? I wasn't going to eat these tortilla chips, but I'm tearing them down. Change don't happen in their life. That means you don't want change. You know? Mm. And right now, Little change in my life mm. and my wife's life. We both have a change in our life. Mm. And we're happy for the change. Y'all go out and get y'all some, some Chipotle right now. Get y'all some, some Chipotle. Mm hmm. Mm. Get y'all you need to try this. This is good. Cliff and tearing it down. It's good. That quinoa. Thumbs up, guys. Mm. Mm. Thumbs up. And them grilled onions and peppers. I love Chipotle's grilled onions. They they pepper mix where they add the bell pepper, the uh, red onion, and they add it all to uh, saute mm. it and add it all together. I love their roasted veggies. Mm. This food is healthy, guys. Mostly healthy, not all. Healthy. The queso's not healthy, the sour cream's not, and the chips are not. But everything, I don't even think the pico, I think the pico got like, not the pico, the, um, the, uh, I don't know, but I feel like this has salt in it. I feel like it does. Really? Yeah, it tastes like they have salt in it. I'll look it up. I'm going to go on My Fitness Pal and put it into My Fitness Pal. I'll figure it out. Before the day's up, I'm going to know. Mm. Yeah. And we hope you guys liked our African and Indian mukbang on Monday. <laughs> we hope y'all liked that. <laughs> You can let us know on this video, too, what other foods you'd like us to try. Um, what other African foods you'd like us to try. To, um, next month is um, Black History Month. So, we want to try, the, uh, we want to, you know, be more diverse. Like, try a diverse yeah. um, Black. list of foods. <laughs> oh, I'm full. Eat a lot of... I'm going to finish this and like that. Caribbean food. Black Caribbean food. Yeah, man. I feel like we always eat Caribbean food, though. Mm -mm. Every week. Mm -mm. 
We don't eat a variety of Caribbean food because we don't have access to it, though. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we do eat, like, Caribbean food every week, though. You know what I'm saying? Wow, you got some leftovers. You got some dinner. I'm saying I have the leftover. You got you some dinner left. Yep. Eat that, make you another salad or or maybe um um saute you some spinach and eat that on the side with some spinach. Mm, I mean, mm-hmm. That'd be a good dinner for you. Mm-hmm. Yes. The bomb. Mm. Mercy. Ooh. You didn't eat breakfast? That's why we're full like this. this Their right. chips are kind of still, but I'm not going to eat no more of this chip. I said, I just wanted to finish this, so. All gone. Gotta finish that. I'm not even gonna finish this either. All of this has a lot of fat in it. That has a lot of fat. That has a lot of fat. I think this has salt, but that's it. Yeah, that's why I don't like. I don't like sour cream and too many cheese. I'm not that type of person, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I like my food natural. I don't think you guys grow up on a lot of cheese, though. Caribbean people, you guys don't really grow up on cheese. Huh. But I think it's like that in Africa, too. We grew up they on, don't really grow up on cheese in Africa. We grew up on mostly natural food. Yeah. I I'm think not, cheese is like an American thing. Mostly yeah. American or European, something yeah, like that. Okay. I don't you really think put it's cheese something that we... And everything we... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And cheese is okay. Like, it's it's good for you, but we use processed cheese. A lot of processed cheese yeah, and um, too much cheese, you know? Yeah. Cheese is just meant to, like, flavor your food a little bit. It's not meant to just overindulge in the way we overindulge in it. Be blessed and don't give up. Peace. All right, Waxer Squad. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Yeah, man. Peace.